1981 is a year dedicated to slasher films. It was arguably the best year for the subgenre. Yeah, we have Michael Myers and Jason Voorhees killing people in 1981, but people tend to forget about the greatest slasher villain of that year. It is one of the most ruthless and perfect killers I can think of. Yeah, it's a killer cat movie. Welcome to the Hellbound Horror Show. Tonight, we're talking about Lucio Fulci's The Black Cat from 1981, which was heavily inspired by Edgar Allan Poe's short story by the same name. Now, Edgar Allan Poe's The Black Cat has been adapted to film many times. There are the classics like the 1934 Universal film starring Bela Lugosi and Boris Karloff, the 1941 version starring Basil Rathbone and Bela Lugosi, and the 1962's Tales of Terror, directed by Roger Corman and starring Vincent Price, Basil Rathbone, and Peter Lorre. And then we have the Italian versions. Now, when I say the best Italian horror directors of all time, who are the first four names that pop into your head? For me, it's pretty easy. It's Mario Bava, Dario Argento, Lucio Fulci, and Sergio Martino. Out of those four, only Mario Bava never worked on an adaptation of The Black Cat. You have Argento's Two Evil Eyes, Martino's Your Vice is a Locked Room, and Only I Have the Key, and the film that we're looking at tonight, Lucio Fulci's The Black Cat. This is the first of three Fulci films that released in 1981. And don't worry about the other two because we're gonna review those later in the year. But at this time, Fulci was on top of his game and was really peaking in the horror genre. He was known for his zombie and living dead flicks like 1979 Zombie, 1980's City of the Living Dead, as well as House by the Cemetery and The Beyond, which are his other films that came out in 1981. Since 1981 was the year for slasher films, Fulci decided to dip his toes in the subgenre and he came out with this weird and strange adaptation of Poe's classic. This is The Black Cat, the movie where the cat is the slasher villain. I love this stuff. As far as the plot goes, there's not a ton here. I mean, sort of. It's a Fulci film, so logical progressional plots aren't really his strong suit. He's a visionary man who always has a ton of great ideas, but isn't always the best at piecing them all together. The story centers around this elderly man who is bound to this black cat. He says it's the cat that controls him and will eventually kill him, but other people in the story believe that the man can supernaturally control the cat. That makes sense because anyone who wrongs the old man gets killed by the cat. An American photographer begins to uncover the mystery, and that's basically it. Yes, there are so many other things going on throughout the film that I could be talking about. Like how the old man likes to take a microphone to the graveyard at night to try to communicate with the dead. That is a really cool idea, and it goes absolutely nowhere. And that sums up this movie. Visually and atmospherically, the film is a masterpiece, but the script causes the film to stumble too often when it should really be trying to build the suspense. All right, we need to talk about the cat murders because there are so many nifty cat kills, like how the cat burns this lady to death or how the cat locks this couple in an airtight room and destroys the ventilator, causing them to suffocate to death. It's an absurd film, and unfortunately it's Fulci's weakest film from 1981. It's by no means a bad movie, and it still contains that Fulci magic and style, but I would watch his other ones first. And as always, thank you so much for watching, stay healthy, 
stay safe, and take care, everyone. Yeah.